think about that scenario. This was an eagle that had every ability to fly and soar just like the bird that it had seen. But because of those around it, because of the chickens that are around it and because of the mentality of those that were around it, uh, he was able to never truly become what he was capable of being, never truly uh, able to live up to the potential that he had as an eagle. And so the question is, are you an eagle or are you a chicken? What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ah, That's right. Episode 134. It's going to be a short one for you guys today, but I wanted to tell a quick story. I recently had a guy, uh, Chris Cavallini, incredible guy, uh, on my other podcast, the Breadwinner Podcast. Uh, and he's actually been on the Sales Wolf Podcast before. If you go back almost two years, uh, we had him on. Uh, but on the Breadwinner Podcast, he told a story that I wanted to retell, uh, kind of a shortened version uh, today and discuss it real briefly with you guys. So the title of this podcast is Eagles and Chickens. And so he told this story about a farmer one day that was walking out on his farm and he saw a baby eagle that had fallen, I guess, from a nest and, and was laying on the ground. And he didn't know what to do with it. It was still alive. And so he put it in this chicken coop. And for the next few years, this eagle was raised by chickens, with chickens, and the environment of chickens. And one day as the eagle got older, it was outside and it looked up in the air and it saw this eagle just soaring in the sky. And he said, you know, what in the world is that? And this chicken next to him said, oh, well, well, that's an eagle. Uh, you know, they get to soar and, and fly like that. But, you know, we're chickens, so you know, we don't get to do things like that. And really, that's the nuts and bolts of the story. You know, that eagle went on to live like a chicken because of the people it surrounded itself with. Uh, and so the question is, are you an eagle or are you a chicken? And really, it boils down to the environments that you're put your, putting yourselves in, the people that you're surrounding yourselves with. And think about that scenario. This was an eagle that had every ability to fly and soar just like the bird that it had seen. But because of those around it, because of the chickens that are around it and because of the mentality of those that were around it, uh, he was able to never truly become what he was capable of being, never truly uh, able to live up to the potential that he had as an eagle. And so the question is, are you an eagle or are you a chicken? Are you a chicken trying to be an eagle or are you an eagle that's still acting like a chicken? I think it's such an important thing for us to look and audit the circles that we surround ourselves, the circles that we fly with, if you will, um, and to, to take note and to take audit and understand are people building you up? Or is it possible that people are you know, holding you back or weighing you down uh, from the best version of yourself or from what you're truly capable uh, of accomplishing, of being, of doing, of all those things? Uh, but in this example, you know, that eagle, all it knew was the life of a chicken. All it knew was what it was surrounded by. And so I think it's extremely important that as you grow and as you go on in life to seek out other things, to seek out new environments, to seek out, you know, we always talk about seek discomfort, but seek out just other scenarios, environments, people, things to broaden your horizons because you may, you may not even be aware now of what's possible in your life because you just haven't seen it. And just like that eagle that all they had seen was, you know, these animals that could just kind of jump and kind of fly for short distances and, and really just kind of hung around on the ground, never realized that he had the capability, the full capability to fly like that eagle that he saw in the sky. And so as you look at your life and the things that you do on a regular basis, how many times are you going out and putting yourself in uncomfortable positions, in new positions, in new environments so that you can taste and that you can experience and that you can see all that's available in this life? 
because until you see it, you don't realize that it's possible until you try it. You don't know what you're capable of. And when you're in those scenarios that you will be defined by those around you. And I'm just a person that doesn't want to be defined by anybody else but myself. I don't know about you, but I do not want to be defined by those around me. I don't want those around me to put limitations on my life because you know what those limitations typically are? The limitations that other people put on you are actually just the limitations that those have put on themselves. And, and we do this in life. We try to impose our own limitations on others because if that chicken had told that eagle that, hey, that's actually an eagle and, and you know, kind of looks like you and man, the wings are kind of shaped like yours. And, you know, I wonder if you could go do that. Like, hey, let's try to go do that. Had that chicken had the audacity to push that eagle uh, to try new things, then that story would have ended very differently. And so, you know, are we performing at the highest level? Are we becoming the best versions of ourselves? Are we seeking new opportunities for growth in all areas of our life? And if we're not, why? Why? Because those limitations that others put on, on, our, on us, on yourself, if not directly combated with action and seeking out other things will become the limitations that you put on yourself will become those self-imposed limitations. That's your lot in life. This idea that, well, I'm just a chicken and these are, and this is what chickens do. So that's just what I'm going to do. Do not allow others to influence what your abilities are, what your capabilities are and what your limitations are or are not. Uh, so that's it guys, uh, is unique story, a quick story uh, about chickens and eagles, but I hope it provides you some value uh, in your day. If it does do us a favor and share this podcast with somebody, let somebody know that, Hey, I heard a cool story today about eagles and chickens. And it really expanded my thought process process of the people that I surround myself with and the circumstances and environments that I put myself in. And I thought you would be um, impacted by it as well. And send it to them, send them to them in a text message, post it on Facebook, post it on you know, your Instagram stories and let people know if you're getting value from something, then share it. Um, that's how this podcast will continue to grow. And coincidentally, that's how you and the people you surround yourselves will continue to grow as well. Uh, so with that, guys, this is episode 134 of the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host. Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow!